Interested in making a fun welcome video for your students with on-screen text like this? Hi class, welcome to second grade. I'm your teacher, Ms. DeRosier, and I'm so excited to get to meet you on Monday. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it completely for free on your Mac using QuickTime to record and iMovie to edit. And if you don't have a Mac, stay tuned because I'm working on a tutorial of how to do it on a Chromebook. All right, let's jump right in. Begin by opening QuickTime Player. It's either on your dock or you can use the search spotlight and type in QuickTime. Next, we're gonna go to File, New Movie Recording. This little window will pop up and it'll show you what you look like on camera. Here's a little tip. You might wanna put your laptop up on some books or something that puts the camera a little more at eye level. You can also obviously tip the screen too so that it puts your face more in full frame. This drop down menu right here will allow you to select whichever camera you have connected. If it's a laptop, it'll probably be your FaceTime camera and whatever microphone you want, whether it's the built-in one or if you have an external one you've plugged in. You'll also wanna keep this speaker icon muted, otherwise you'll get feedback from your own voice. You can see with me talking right here that it's already picking up my audio. When you're ready and everything's set up the way you want, hit record. Hi class, my name is Mr. Rosier and I'm gonna be your new teacher this year. I'm so excited to welcome you and to meet you on Monday. All right, make sure to hit the stop button. And there it is. Now we're gonna save it by going to File, Save. And here we'll title it, Welcome Video. You can choose your location, let's just save it on the desktop. Awesome, we can close out of this now and open iMovie. If it's not in your dock, you can use the spotlight search. Make sure you're on projects and click this plus sign for create new. Select movie, not trailer. All right, we're gonna import our media from the desktop. Up here is your browser and it shows all your different clips. Now it allows you to pre-trim them, but I found it's easier just to click the plus sign and it adds it to your timeline down here and you can see a little bit better. Now the vertical line is called your playhead and it allows you to skim through the video and wherever you click, it'll start playing. If you hit the space bar, it'll play, hit the space bar again and it'll stop. I suggest begin by watching your entire video. Okay, so it's obvious that I wanna trim off that at the beginning. At the bottom, you can see the audio waves and what you wanna do is you can raise or lower it depending on how loud or soft you wanna be. My audio sounds fine, so I'm gonna click this audio and make sure to put it at 100% by moving the slider. Let's trim the video. Go ahead and click the video and then select this slider and you can see how I can move it in to trim. If you wanna trim off the middle of somewhere, click where you want it, hit Command B for the blade tool, and you, if you wanna trim in another spot, put the playhead where you want it, hit Command B and trim again. And you'll notice that this section right here, where it's just me waiting, you can click on it and hit Delete to get rid of it. I'm sure this end is just me saying you to hit the st stop record, so let me listen. Oh yeah, we don't need that either. So you can select that and hit delete. All right, let's assume all your editing is done and you've trimmed out the parts you don't want and you maybe trim the end in the beginning so that it flows nicely. Now let's add the text. iMovie actually has a lot of really great themes. So click settings and then click no theme. Here, there's lots of different themes you can choose from. Let's just pick the neon one and click change. Now what it does is it dumps in the titles at the top. If you select titles up here, you can see all your options for titles, whether it's an opening, middle, or ending title, or a variety of other kinds. It's already done the opening title you can see by this purple bar, but let's go ahead and trim it because I know I don't want it to be the entire video. If you double click it, we can edit it, but let's just have it say welcome. Now when I move the playhead to the beginning and hit the space bar, it shows the welcome and it disappears. Now say I wanna add my name. We can click the middle title and put it right here. Double click to select to edit and let's replace it with my name. And I know I don't want it the whole video, so we'll click that and we'll trim it a little bit. Now let's check it out. All right, I want it a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna click it and move it over. 
Rosier, and I'm gonna be your. All right, that works. And of course, you can end, end titles or whatever you want. Let's assume we're done. Let's go ahead and export the file. Go to File, Share, then File again. And here, let's retitle it. You want to make sure the format is video and audio and that the resolution is the highest you can select. For compress, you want to do better quality. Now on the left hand side, it's going to say the length of your video and then also the size. If your school uses Gmail, you are limited to 25 megabytes for how big a file attachment can be. And chances are this video is going to be much larger than that. So instead of attaching it to the email, we're going to just upload it to Drive and share the link. Click next to save, choose your save destination and click save. All right, now we can close out of iMovie. Okay, open your school's Google Drive, grab your movie and drop it to upload it. Now, depending on your file size and your internet connection, this may take a few minutes or an hour to upload and process. Don't worry, you can use this time to create your email list of who you're gonna send it to. You can tell the video is still processing by if you double click on it, you get this pop-up. Don't worry, you can always come back later and when you double click, it should play your video so you can preview it. But let's change the share settings. Right click on the video, select share, and then change access to anyone with link. Be sure it's still on viewer, not on commentator editor. Copy the link and hit done. Now you can compose your email by inserting the link. You can insert it by hyperlink by highlighting whatever words you want and then pasting the link we copied earlier or you can do it by inserting drive link. Click on the video and click insert. Either way works. Add in your recipient list and a welcome message, hit send, and you're done. Now that you have a fun welcome video for your students, check out this video that has my favorite first day activity, or watch this one that shows you how to set up and organize your class to make it fun and functional for the entire year.